Dean Wagner, authentically American. How are you, Dean? David, I'm doing fantastic. How are you this morning? All right. Pretty straightforward. I, you know, just how do I introduce you? <laughs> Veteran, founder, CEO, authentically American, American made clothing for companies, nonprofits, high school, colleges, sports teams, general consumers. Uh, we have to talk a little business offline, by the way, you and I. So, uh, what's going on, man? How you doing? David, I'm doing fantastic in one respect and other things just completely dismayed at the state of our country. But the reason I'm doing fantastic is authentically American, our brand, our message, what we stand for, a brand that celebrates patriotism, believes in the American worker, and honors our American hero has never been stronger. So let's go down the line of why authentically American has been and is growing, by the way, as a company. I uh, take took a good look at you. Have before. Uh, what what is that first point? Is it as simple as people want that authentic American product? I mean, if we if we begin to see that seed change in America, and not just say in our veterans community, because when you think about our veterans and families community, we're twenty five million plus strong in this country. David, let me do this. Let me ground it in a brief snapshot in the history. So when I graduated West Point in 1993, over 50% of the apparel in the U.S. was made in the U.S. Today, it's tragically less than 3%. That is all that's made here in the U.S. today. And we launched Authentically American officially in July of 2017. So it's coming up on three years for us, and we've had some strong, steady growth the first two years. But over the last few months, it is really hockey sticked. And I think we had such a wake up call to how reliant we are as a country on China and overseas supply chain. People are now actively seeking an American made solution. Our website over the last couple of months is up over 400%. Our business in total for the year is going to be up over 600%. So I think it's been a long time coming. But, you know, the global pandemic has really been a catalyst and a wake up call for everyone. How have your and have you seen a shift in customer or in addition? What in other words, what's that look like from from the from the business point of view? Your customer, uh, the type of customer, the type of purchase. I mean, you know, retail is an interesting field for me because it reflects people's choices and why they make those choices is what we're talking about. There's been a definitive choice. In a definitive inflection point, David, and part of that's given the history of our brand. You know, when we launched Authentically American, it was very client focused. We partnered primarily with businesses, with schools, with charities. You know, you as a business owner, for example, may want a t shirt or a polo or a hat with your company name on it, your company logo. And we were offering a choice, a high quality American made choice that's competitively priced. And just last year, we launched the consumer brand. So you can go to our website, authenticallyamerican.us, and as an individual, you'll purchase your own per- new favorite you know, T-shirt, your new favorite pair of socks or hat. And the history that I just talked about the last few months are having more people to our website. People are act- actively searching for American-made options. You no, know, that's an important shift. And you, your point about when you graduated West Point uh, versus uh, where we are today with American made apparel and clothing, you know, the days even before that, uh, when, you know, the garment district in New York, you know, just an hour and a half from West Point was the powerhouse and it went all over the world. You know, I'm not against international trade. I mean, who doesn't love good Italian suit silk? But, you know, there was something to it. It was in replacement for America because there were great American clothiers, great American apparel makers, product makers across the board. But there was an imbalance here, and in part because of uh, economics, you know, cheaper goods. We got very used to that. Americans are in tough times now. We, we've been hurt economically uh, by choice, but hurt economically nevertheless. Do you see the this trend continuing, you know, as we recover or as we fight our way to recover? I believe it absolutely will, David, and I think there is just a fundamental shift 
and people's mentality going forward. And I've got a couple samples that I'm going to send you so you can see firsthand because the experience, David, I want our consumers to have is to say, Dean, this is my new favorite. Forget where it's made. It's just incredibly soft. They can start listing out the features of our products, and they say, forget where it's made. It's just an amazing product. I love it. It's my new favorite. And then when they start to look at the tag and see that it's made in America, they hear and understand the ethos behind our brand. That's really when it cements that long-term decision that, okay, this wasn't just a one-time purchase. This is my new favorite brand that I'm going to be purchasing month after month, year after year. And I think other brands that are in similar space or similar equity to ours are going to go ahead and benefit as well.